Hi guys Mr. New Mobile here. iPad Air 2020 release date, new features leaks. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. iPad Air may likely shift the launching date to first half 2021. Apple has already updated the iPad Pro range in 2020, but it doesn't look like it's stopping there, with the iPad Air due for an upgrade soon. But unlike with other updates, featuring only minor spec bumps, Apple is rumored to be hard at work on a complete overhaul of the iPad Air, complete with an iPad Pro-like display and a new in-display Touch ID scanner. We round up the latest rumors about the likely release date, pricing, design and features of the next-gen iPad Air. It has been more than a year since the release of the current iPad Air, which first made an appearance in March 2019, following a five-year hiatus for the Air branding. The logical release date would have been March 2020, but as we now know, Apple chose to focus on the iPad Pro models, boasting the new A12Z Bionic chipset, an additional ultra-wide lens and a depth-sensing lighter sensor. So, when will the next early cycle window? It's still widely rumored that an updated iPad Air will make an appearance in 2020, although it wasn't announced at WWDC 2020 either, and whispers suggest that the release has been pushed as far back as 2021. An April 2020 report from China Times suggests the new iPad Air would begin mass production in the third quarter of 2020, but with a caveat. If Apple decides to go for a mini-LED display, mass production will be delayed until 2021. Well-respected Apple analyst Ming Kai Kuo has suggested that a 2020 release is still on the cards. In a May 2020 note to investors, Kuo claims that Apple is working on new models of iPad Air and iPad Mini, with a 10.8 inches Air model due for release in the second half of 2020. Those waiting for a new iPad Mini might have a little longer to wait, with Kuo suggesting a spring 2021 launch for Apple's small tablet. Long-standing Apple tipster John Prosser has also chimed in on the matter, most recently published adjusted Apple dates that include supposed launch windows for all of the company's major mobile products. To get a iPad Air will cost, let's look at Apple's current pricing. iPad Air, 64GB, Wi-Fi. $499, iPad Air, 256GB, Wi-Fi. $649 with this in mind, we expect Apple to aim for the same entry-level price with the updated iPad Air, it's what it tends to do with most of its product range, from the iPhone to the Apple Watch, but both China Times and Ming Kai Kuo suggest that Apple could be dropping the price of this year's iPad Air. It's not as crazy an idea as it would have been a couple of years ago, but with the release of the iPhone SE with iPhone 11 level specs at a respectable £419 $399, it's possible that Apple could cut the cost of the iPad Air. That then leaves us with the 10.2 inches iPad, currently on sale at £349 $329. It'd be hard for Apple to offer the iPad for much lower than £349 $329, so we imagine the new iPad Air will replace the 10.2 inches iPad as the entry-level model in the iPad range, if Apple does drop the prices it is up a little, with Apple's at times confusing iPad branding, leaving consumers confused. To call the iPad Air 2019 design familiar is probably being too kind at this point. Apple has used a broadly similar design across the iPad range bar the Pro models for quite some time now, complete with forehead and chin, and a physical home button. It's certainly a step away from the Touch ID-enabled full-screen design of the iPad Pro range, but according to reports, that could all be changing this year. Various reports suggest that the next iPad Air will sport the same all-screen design as Apple's iPad Pro range, but with one crucial difference. There won't be Face ID support. Have to be exclusive to the high-end Pro range, right? Of course, with a full-screen design, there's no place for the home button, so what would you use for authentication? Much like the iPhone SE Plus rumored for release in 2021, the next iPad Air is set to feature an in-display fingerprint reader for use with Touch ID. It's not a new concept the technology has been available on Android devices for a few years now, but Apple has yet to introduce the tech to any iPhone or iPad. If Apple pulls it off as well as some Android manufacturers, it'll allow Apple to expand the screen-to-body ratio of the tablet without sacrificing the high-end biometrics available on the current iPad Air. The shrinking bezels of the display mean that the new iPad Air will likely sport a larger display without a change to external dimensions. That's claimed by both China Times and Ming Kai Kuo, but the two sources can't agree on sizes. China Times claims it'll be 11 inches, while Kuo suggests it'll be a more modest 10.8 inches, the latter certainly makes more sense, as an 11 inches bezel less display will look a little too similar to the 11 inches iPad Pro for Apple's liking. Pro for Apple's liking. Features and spec aside from the introduction of an under-display fingerprint scanner, what else should we expect from the new iPad Air? 
it's safe to say that the iPad Air probably won't feature any of the features from the new iPad Pro range, including the snazzy lighter scanner or secondary ultra-wide lens, but we could see some features from the older 2018 range. The site suggests that the next-gen iPad Pro will be based on the 2018 11-inches iPad Pro. With this in mind, we could see the iPad Air's camera offering upgraded from the current 8MP f2.4 lens to a 12MP f1.8 wide-angle camera, complete with flash. It's also suggested that the iPad Air will follow the iPad Pro's transition to USB-C, with Apple apparently ditching the traditional lightning cable with the next-gen tablet. It gets a little murkier when it comes to the processor. The current iPad Air sports an A12 processor, while the iPad Pro from 2018 featured the A12X Bionic, and the 2020 iPad Pro features the A12Z. If you hadn't guessed, those are all versions of the same processor. Well, you might assume that the iPad Air would get the same A13 chipset as the iPhone 11 range, we doubt Apple would introduce the next-gen chipset on an entry-level tablet, while the premium range was stuck on a variant of the A12. That all being said, it's most likely that the iPad Air will feature the A12X Bionic, offering a small upgrade in performance, while still not outshining the flagship iPad Pro range. The logic of not outshining the iPad Pro range means the rumors of the new iPad sporting a microLED display, mentioned earlier, should be taken with a large pinch of salt. While the introduction of the microLED tech would allow for thinner, more lightweight devices without sacrifice to overall quality, the general consensus right now is that the iPad Pro would likely get the tech first. That's about all there is to know about the new iPad Air right now. You check the link below the description for other portable iPad Pro models. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.